All right, so now that we're finished drilling the 0.257 diameter holes, we're gonna actually bring in our chamfer and we're gonna actually spot those holes to create the chamfer for the 5 16 18 thread, all right? So tool six is gonna be a 5 8 six flute chamfer mill at an included angle of 90 degrees. One of my favorite products that Kenna Metal has is the Duo Lock System. It's a way to save on carbide, all right? So when you have end mills, they literally, instead of having this much carbide, they give you just the end mill and actually put a tip on it that actually screws into a body, right? So it connects. And then when the end mill wears out, you basically unscrew it, put another insert in, screw it back, lock it, it locks perfectly in place and you just keep running. And when you're running production, this saves huge money because you don't have to pay for all that carbide. So now that we have the holes already in place, we're simply going to drop down and chamfer around the hole to a diameter that's approximately about 10% of the overall thread diameter. When looking at a chamfer mill, we're talking a 90 degree included angle. So each side is 45, okay? That's why it's popular in machining, especially manual machining, because it's easy to calculate. If I have a 45 degree angle, all I have to do to calculate it when actually creating a chamfer is go edge to edge, and basically I can just go, okay, I wanna chamfer this edge five thousandths. All I would have to do is go a hundred thousandths off, 100 thousandths down, and then an additional 5 thousandths because it's a 45 degree, it's equal. So 50 over, 50 down. 100 over, 100 down creates edge to edge. Anything beyond that is the chamfer, all right? So when it comes to Inconel, I'm actually, I have a 5 eighths. So in aluminum, I might say it's 100 thousandths and it's 50 off and 50 down right? And if I wanted to do a 10,000 chamfer, I would just go 60 down, right? So it's 50 off, 60 down. But because it's Inconel, I want to use the flute higher up. And I actually want to give it some room to actually cut because I have six flutes, okay? So on the top surface, I'm basically going to hit right kind of in the center of the flute, all right? That's good. But on the bottom surface, the closer I get to the tip, the farther the tool is going to have to be away from this surface, right? So when you look at this surface, if I'm close to the tip, I'd have to pull my tool away from that surface. And that means that the chamfer would be only over here because the tool was away from the surface. So what I'm gonna do is actually call it a larger diameter. So the software takes the tool and puts it right up against the wall, but deeper so I can get my chamfer all the way over here. So just like a little trick, right? So if you're running aluminum, that's one thing. If you're running on the top, that's another thing in Inconel, right? With a six foot tool. And if you're running down here and you're next to a wall, we're actually gonna call it and say it's a much bigger tool so we can actually use the top so we can get it close to the wall, leaving the biggest chamfer possible because we wanna chamfer everything inside the machine, especially when it comes to ink canal. All right, so speeds and feeds for our duo lock, six flute, five eighths chamfer mill. We're gonna go 120 surface foot, and then our chip load, our feed per tooth, we're putting at 0.0022, which puts our revolutions at 733 and at a feed rate of 10 inches per minute. All right, so now the chamfer mill has actually walked around the part, inside the part, deburred everything, and it's going to chamfer the drilled holes now. All right, so it's gonna come straight down. So one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually back off my RPMs because I don't want any chatter. When this thing hits, when it hits the full diameter and it starts taking that big cut, 
I want to keep my RPMs low so I create pressure so the tool engages the material and it doesn't bounce. All right, so we're going to start off with a surface footage of 60 and a bead per revolution of two thousands. It's going to drop down. It's going to be slow, but it's okay because it's in canal and it's going to make a perfect finish.